Okay, so I don't mind having trees and things like that in, in the image. Um, but if I'm going to try to model some of this stuff, um, that could be kind of tricky to try to, to model. So what I think I might do is come up with like my own trees. And so I think this needs to be um, uh, map painted out. So let's come up here and let's drop in a layer. And I don't want that. Let's do this. Pull that to the top and hold Alt. And yeah, just like that. Um, OK, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to clone stamp on this layer. So we want to come over here to our clone stamp. And for this, I do have, um, if you come up to this little gear, you can um, turn legacy brushes on. And these are the brushes that I uh, kind of grew up on, so I really like these brushes. Um, so you can come down here and um, find you know some different really cool uh, chalk brushes if you enable legacy stuff. So let's let's actually do yeah, let's do thirty six. Okay. Okay. So now I have that brush assigned to. Um, my uh, clone stamp and I just want to make sure that it's set to all layers because if it's just set to like current layer or current layer and blow or if it's set to current layer I can only clone stamp from that layer like if there's information on that layer like say if this building was on that layer that I could clone stamp that building but nothing else uh, and this layer is blank so current layer would uh, definitely not be helpful current and below would be um, this layer and everything that's below it but if there was like layers above it it wouldn't clone stamp from those um, which that would probably be fine, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and set it to all layers. Okay. So let's hold Alt and Middle Mouse and drag in here a little bit. And then um, if you hold Alt and Right, you can kind of grow that brush. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit more. I'm going to click right at the corner of that window and let's do that and my opacity is set to 39 maybe I'll go ahead and uh, maybe not 100 because I do like to be able to work um, things up if I need to and it looks like that got off a little bit all right, sorry about that. I just had to finagle my cord a little bit just to um, keep that working okay. Okay, so from here, I'm going to do Control Z because that line seemed like it got off a little bit. Yeah, so I want to make sure, make this brush really big just to start out. I want to make sure before I Drop that down that it's lining up. Okay. Now it is. So now I think I can um, come up here and work some of this a little bit. And again, I do like kind of a lower opacity so I can kind of work things and kind of brush them up uh, as I kind of work towards what I'm after. And this doesn't have to be perfect because yeah, I'll probably actually put a tree in front of this, but yeah, we'll just try to make it as good as we can. So I'm gonna call, keep clone stamping some of this. I actually might be okay without re So the trick here is there's not a lot of um, good information to actually grab from in here. So we might actually even need to grab that right there. Drop that down. And just kind of work 
some of this. And um, a lot of times I won't use just the clone stamp, right? I'll use um, that in, in kind of a combination, and that's kind of weird. I'll use that in combination with um, with like my brush tool. Okay, let's try that. Okay, and my suggestion would also be, you know, like to really take your time with this, um, since I don't want this to drag like out like really, 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 really long. I'm going to kind of move a little quicker than I probably normally would. Um, so let's actually even do the brush. So same thing with the brush. I I got a similar chalk type brush, um, and I'm going to take uh, that opacity down. Come in here. And um, by having this opacity lower, you can uh, really work things up and, and everything doesn't feel like so uniform. So, yeah, and we really are missing a lot of data down here. So this is going to be tricky, but we'll see what we can do. We'll, I'm going to keep working this area because it's going to be a little easier. So I'm going to go back to my clone stamp. That right there. And probably what we could do for like the bottom, uh, if we really wanted to take the time, is we could go get like some new like brick texture and like composite um, that in and just kind of rebuild that whole area. Uh, I'm probably going to try to avoid that just for uh, time's sake, but that would be like definitely or a definite uh, good uh, solution to consider. Like there's, you can almost get like the sense of a little kind of shadow right there. So again, you can use uh, your brush, and, and so I'm kind of going back and forth, right? I'm on my brush right now. Um, you can use your brush and your clone stamp. Um, in tandem and so I'm just using alt even with the uh, with the brush I'm using my alt click to sample like different colors and um, things like that and yeah let's, let's get in there Kind of zoom out and see how that's um, looking. So if we turn that on and off, you can uh, see the difference there. So we need to kind of work this area some more. And I'm just using my brush through here, kind of working some of this up. And now I'm using my clone stamp. Okay. And 
And so the nice thing about the brush is like, right, you can do work um, in areas that you can't um, really work with the uh, clone stamp. Um, but the clone stamp gives you obviously really nice textures, texture detail because you're pulling from actual like textures. The thing is it can get a little repeating um, patterning kind of feel, but that's where you can take your brush and come back in and you know, you could do like uh, some stuff just to kind of even break some of that up so that it doesn't feel um, too uniform again. And a lot of times I find, like for me anyways, like if I just kind of work um, quickly, uh, it just tends to have kind of a, 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 nat a more of a, now, I mean, you don't want to get messy, but um, if you work kind of a little more loose, things kind of feel a little more um, natural. So I'm using my brush here just to kind of come and break uh, some things up a little bit, just so it doesn't feel, um, again too patterny or anything like that just breaking up some of that okay so i'm gonna kind of jump out and see what we got here now So let's go back to the clone stamp. And so um, B is your brush, S is your clone stamp. So a lot of times I'll just uh, jump back and forth there. So using that uh, clone stamp again. Okay, looking at what we got here. Again, take uh, feel free to take um, as much time as you want um, in these areas. We go to my brush. Um, I'm going to try to do this fairly quick. Make that brush kind of small. We can add some little breakup lines and things like that here. I don't know how well that's uh, showing up on the video, but yeah. So zoom out, get a sense for how that's looking. Because you do want to kind of pop out and see like how does that feel from a distance, right? Because that's really how you're going to be looking at it. Okay. Um, okay, so this is going to be kind of a trickier area, but let's um, go to my clone stamp and see what we can do. Since we don't have as much room, I'll have to clone stamp pretty close uh, to these areas.
actually don't know that I mind that little breakup. Don't even really know what it is, but it kind of looks cool. Again, like it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to take time and bring in some new texture and like some brick type texture and kind of rework this area up. I just uh, don't want to take uh, the time to um, do that. So we're just going to make the best of it that we can. With my brush, just going to knock some of that out, so bring some of that back in. Back to the clone stamp. Try to use some of this brick, this brick texture for some of these areas. Nope. Oops. There we go. And because I have a lower opacity, I you know you do have to kind of brush over some areas a couple times um, to get it working the way you want. Looks like there's some windows there, but I'm just going to go ahead and kill that little section. Again, it does look like there's some windows there, but I'm just going to kind of let those um, go. Let's see what this would look like if I just put a little window into this little enclave here. Yeah, 
and I'm using my brush again. And back to the clone stamp tool. Oops. Okay, see how that's feeling. And if you hold shift down, you can um, draw straight lines. I'm doing uh, that too. So I'm just going to take um, this brush, just clean some of this up. Make it not, like I don't mind if there's breakup, I just don't want things to feel um, messy like un um unintended like there's a difference between like nice detail and just like a messy paint job okay let me just pop out here real quick yeah Now we're just going to go ahead and start getting uh, using that clone stamp a bit more. Or actually, I'm using the brush. So I had that on the clone stamp. Here we go. Clean that up in a second. Again, we'll kind of clean some of this stuff up here in just one second. All right, so let's come in here. And I'm using the brush again.
and the constant. So again, a lot of back and forth right here. I do want it to feel like there's um, a little bit of shadow underneath this little bit of trim. And we'll see how that's looking. Okay, we could probably spend a little more time and like get these windows to fill. Like maybe we can move this window like right here and have it a little more spaced out a little bit better. But I think I'm okay with this uh, for now. These are just kind of where some of my uh, thoughts are going. Like if I was going to spend more time on this, like what I would probably um, continue to do. Okay.
All right, so last thing I want to do before I call it uh, good on this is I want to clean up uh, this painting uh, just a little bit more. So one thing we can do is I'm going to use my brush tool. I'm going to bring the opacity, uh, make sure it's kind of higher uh, for this next part. And I just want to bring the brush size kind of down. And so I feel like this area could be cleaned up a bit. And so if you hold your, like, if we hold Alt and we click right here, we can sample that color. And I'm going to click there with the mouse uh, or with my brush button. And then I'm going to hold Shift. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click. And what you can see is it drew like a straight line between those two points. So I'm going to try that again. Hold Shift. And then I'm going to do the same thing kind of in this area. Hold Shift. Kind of, oops, get a color that I like. Shift. Hold shift, hold shift, and I'm going to clean that part up too. Now, I'm going to go ahead and drop the opacity of this brush a bit. Another thing that, because uh, some of this is also kind of feeling muddied in here, another thing that we can do uh, just to make our lives easier is use this polygon uh, lasso tool. And we can just kind of trace that line, and then we'll do something like uh, that and this will make sense here in a second once we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And now, right now, for example, if I took my brush and I want to paint, I can only paint inside of this box. But I want to actually do the opposite. So I'm gonna do Control Shift I. Um, and so from here, I'm going to come and I'm gonna sample some of these colors and. By doing Control Shift I, I can't paint into this box, and so it's going to kind of provide me a nice um, hard edge. So I'm going to just kind of paint down, kind of paint in this area, and it's going to give me kind of a nice hard edge to paint up and down to. So just kind of clean some of this stuff up a bit, and don't feel like you have to go too crazy. And in fact, I don't have the time to go too crazy. Um, it, sometimes I'll, I'll spend more time depending on how much time I have to work on a matte painting um, than others. But if you have a client that you need it quick, just realize that some of this stuff is going to be living like in the background. So from that distance, it might look okay without um, cleaning all this stuff up, you know, quite a bit. Uh, but for right now, I'm not going to clean everything up because I think it's kind of a little messy up here too. Um, but I'm just going to kind of uh, work some of the uh, messier areas and just kind of show you. Uh, how you how you can go about that. So again, I'm going to keep just brushing down along here. And again, this marquee tool is providing us like a nice edge uh, to work up against. And so I'll grab some of this, some of that. Some of this texture. And again, we kind of want to watch, make sure we're not getting uh, messed in other areas. Uh, and then here, again, if I click here and I hold Shift and I click back and forth, I can get some nice um, stuff in here. So, kind of define these window shapes a little bit better. And again, even with this, I'm still kind of um, trying to keep the pace uh, fairly upbeat. So I'm not even cleaning it to the nth degree. I'm just wanting to kind of cover some of the tools that, that you got at your disposal or some strategies, so to speak, that you have at your disposal uh, to use to kind of help uh, clean some of this up. So shift. So you can just shift, kind of uh, click back and forth. Uh, sample that, shift, and I'm just holding shift and clicking back and forth and it's making a nice straight uh, line there. So again, this is kind of, some of these areas are getting a little muddy, so you can kind of come in and uh, define those a little bit more. Um, so we can come through here and we can um, brush some of this up. And we'll come down here, clean some of that up. And 
here. And so while the, uh, again, while the clone stamp gives you nice uh, textures, um, the your brush can be really helpful for, you know, just coming in and being able to just kind of free float uh, cleanups and things like that. Make sure all this looks like it's working okay. Again, uh, you can spend more time with this. I'm just kind of trying to uh, point out some of your uh, strategies that you can do that can help with this. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to do Control D as in dog to unselect some of that. And so now I'm going to try to do some of this area. Hold Shift and click and actually we can turn that opacity up for this. Just to help kind of define some of this. So click, Shift click. So things like that. And then we can sample here. Click, Shift click, click, shift click. Okay, and then we could do the same thing here. Maybe make that brush even smaller. Click, come to the bottom edge of that. Shift click, click. I'm kind of losing track of which one I was on. Shift click, and then click here. You make this bigger. Click, and then we could come here and like shift. Uh, shift click. Actually, I kind of like that brighter color. Let's try that. And shift click. And so, again, let's see how that's looking. Kind of zoom back in on that. Looks like that's getting skewed a little bit. So, let's try some of that again. I'm going to click uh, right here and shift click right there. Click and shift click and click and shift click. And we'll get some of this. Click. Shift click. And shift click. And then drop the opacity now. And then we can kind of come and work some of this a little bit um, better. Okay. And so again, I'm, I'm not going to clean all of this up, but I want wanted to show um, how you can clean and get some straight edges and start to define uh, some of these areas a little bit better if you want to take the time to do that. So again, um, Oops. Hit enter, control D, click right there, click right there, there, and then there. Right, and then you can come and clean up some of these um, top areas. And you can also use your clone stamp with some of this as well. Um, so maybe you clone stamp some of uh, right there and then use that and really clean up that um, bottom edge with texture even. And so that's that's an option as well as using uh, your brush. So if we do Control D, you can see we're getting some uh, sharper edges. And so like some of this could be cleaned up as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, probably leave some of that uh, to you guys because uh, I don't want these uh, videos to get any longer uh, than necessary, but I think you can see um, how these uh, facades um, or these windows again we can even maybe clean this up a bit more but I think you can see like how this is uh, definitely cleaner um, than some of these areas but that's how you'll go about uh, cleaning that up but again like I said as you kind of start scooting out here because um, this is going to be how we're going to view the map painting from um, you might be able to live with some of that right because uh, the viewer's eye may not even be pulled over to that direction 
Um, but as, as much fidelity as you can put into it, depending on how much time, um, you can definitely do that. So um, I hope uh, this has been helpful.